Sorry I didn't make a video in some time, I don't really have an excuse, I was just lazy. But um, I have now a video about the uh, Seebeck effect uh, using uh, Peltier uh, modules. What you see here in my hand it's a uh, Tech 1 12709 and you can find this very cheap on eBay. The, the numbers in the, in the name are the first three numbers are representing the number of uh, thermoelectric elements inside the module, like you see here. And the 09, it's uh, the current, the, the maximum current this module will use at uh, maximum voltage. And I think the maximum voltage is somewhere about 15, 16 volt, depending on, on the module. But um, usually they are used at 12 volt and even 12 volt it's I think too much for them they will not be very efficient at this high voltage in my uh, demonstration of the Seebeck effect I will use this larger Peltier module and um, it's glued in between two aluminum heat sink I used a thermal adhesive to, to glue this uh, together but you could use any uh, epoxy glue it will be good enough for heat transfer and this is a flashlight head that I use it has 12 small LEDs and it has a DC to DC uh, converter so it could start working at 0 0.8 volt this is also a PCB and a connector and just wires there is no electronic module inside there or anything else and um, I will use tap water to, to demonstrate this uh, Peltier module generating uh, electricity It will take some time to get the right temperature difference. You will need at least 35 degrees uh, Celsius difference between the hot and the cold plate in order to get uh, 0 0.8 volt and to get the LED light. And now you see it is already light, so it means that we already reached uh, 0 0.8 volt. And in my case the cold water it's about 7 degrees celsius and the hot water it's around 58-57 degrees celsius and you can see that I have a thermometer there so you can watch it and the air temperature it's quite high in my apartment right now it's about 28-29 degrees celsius These Peltier modules cannot be used at high temperature. Um, the maximum temperature I will use this at will be about 60 degrees Celsius. So this is about the temperature of the tap hot water. I will say that these Peltier modules used as uh, generators uh, are very similar to, uh, to solar cells except that you need a temperature difference instead of light to generate electricity. They are not very efficient, my guess is that uh, they are about 5% efficient. But I have a very good price so uh, they can compete with uh, solar cells. And what you can do is um, have a large um, thermal collector or a thermal accumulator, like a big piece of uh, concrete or uh, a pool of water or something like that and um, hit this using uh, uh, some mirrors and uh, solar energy and then um, you can it, you can convert that heat into electricity using this uh, uh, Peltier element okay. using the Seebeck effect and you can get an almost constant uh, 
generation of electricity since you can generate electricity even during the night or when there is no sun if you accumulated already enough uh, you stored already enough uh, thermal energy into your uh, thermal accumulator you can see here the flashlight head and you see that at uh, 0 0.8 volt it using a bit less than 40 milliamps and at 1.06 volt that we measured before it used about 340 milliamps now i just disconnected the led flashlight head and i connected a multimeter so you can see the open circuit voltage and uh, short circuit current and now you see the voltage it's uh, it will reach about 0 0.6 volt at uh, using just a uh, hot water it's 58 degrees celsius hot water and the room temperature is about 29 celsius degree and you will see I will change now to cold water and the, the voltage will uh, will increase it will actually reach about one point almost 1.2 volt you see 1.17 volt so almost 1.2 volt and now you see that I switch to current and the current is now about 1.4 amps it will reach about 1.45 amps so this is the maximum current you could get out of this uh, module at this temperature difference so you get um, about 1.2 volt at almost 1.5 amps and probably the temperature difference is uh, less than 50 degrees celsius You see that if I supply 1.2 volt, it will use about 1.4 amps, so almost the same. And this is about all. Thanks for watching my video, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment.